Grenade, or you can call me Ally. I'm taking a break from the challenges this week and I will commence next week, so please keep leaving your challenges down below in my last week's video and I'll choose one for next week's video, a challenge to complete. This week I want to show you this quick and easy way to make a charm. It's super fun and I wanted to make a miniature cryotoic. If you don't know who or what a cryotoic is, it's a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber gamer. I'll leave his link down below, but I'm he's a very big YouTuber, but I really enjoy watching his videos. I've been watching them for a really long time and I wanted a miniature cry, so I'm going to be using this image right here that I drew. So for the materials, you're going to need a hand-drawn image, or you can print one out, an ink pen, this is just a black ink pen, but you can use a blue ink, doesn't really matter. I have some cold porcelain, a eye pin, and some rubbing alcohol, as well as a Q-tip. So I'm going to go ahead and trace my image here with this ink marker. Before I went ahead and traced my image, I wanted to explain a couple things. You can use a printed off image or draw one yourself. I use pencil and the words are written backwards, so they're mirrored to what you would normally write them as. And I'm going to go ahead and take my marker and just trace them. I'm going to set it off to the side over here and take my cold porcelain. If you don't know what cold porcelain is, it's a homemade air dry clay and it's fantastic. I'm going to shape it roughly to the same size as this image here just by pressing it down gently. You can also use polymer clay, but I'm using cold porcelain. I'm also going to take my eye pin and stick it in the top because I want to turn this into a charm once I'm done. So just continue pressing it down. Make sure your cold porcelain doesn't stick to your surface or your other clay that you're using. So now I've got my cold porcelain shaped the way I want it and I'm going to take my image here and flip it on top of the cold porcelain. Just want to make sure it's all on top and nothing's going to be hanging off the side. So this is good. You're going to take your rubbing alcohol and I've dipped my q-tip in it and I'm just going to apply the rubbing alcohol over the ink and let it transfer that image to your cold porcelain or to your polymer clay. I'm just going to give it a couple seconds so it has an adequate amount of time to transfer. I'm just going to tap it lightly with my finger. And it's kind of like one of those transferable tattoos, like the removable tattoos you have as a kid. Same sort of idea. So now I'm just going to peel it back very carefully. And as you can see, we now have a tiny cry transfer. So I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll come back. I let the cryotoic pendant or cryotic pendant, however you want to pronounce his name, I let the cry pendant dry a couple of hours to the point where my cold porcelain isn't sticking to the mat. And now I've got some black acrylic paint and this is a belt hole making tool. It's got a really fine point. I'm going to use this to help me paint the black acrylic onto the cry pendant. So I'm just going to dip it in the point. Still got paint on there. I'm going to very carefully go around the outside along the line the transferred image left. I'm going to do it very carefully. Like so. I went ahead and cleared off my belt making tool, so now I can paint the letters more finely, with more precision, because they're quite small.
And there we go. I'm going to let this acrylic paint dry, but this is our cry pendant and it's super cute and I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.